It's time for FFChamps.com on Football Nation. I'm Butch Stearns of the Pulse Network. He's Billy Enright of FFChamps.com. Billy, this is the time of year where if you want to win your league, you're thinking about the playoffs. You're, to think about that, you need to look ahead yep. and get the matchups you want in weeks 14 through 16 where most fantasy playoffs. So this is a segment that's about advice, looking ahead on who some hard decisions, who you might want to trade away or trade for, right? Yeah, we have some great tools when it comes to strength of schedule and uh, looking at fantasy defensive points allowed. And what we do is we write an article every week called Trade, Bait, and Pray. And it's the guys that you want to trade for or uh, dish out on, on your team. And we did a special playoff preview, guys with difficult matchups weeks 14 through 16 and guys with easy matchups weeks 14 through 16 and made some suggestions based on their schedules on who you want for your team for your fantasy football playoff run. So let's start with guys you want to trade away. Now, okay. I say want to. You need to think about this if you want to win, and you've done the homework based on matchups in week 14 to 16. You also have to think about getting to the playoffs too, don't you? Of course. And this first guy I'm going to mention, is it's going to sting, Butch. But the bottom line is if you can't make your fantasy playoffs, then you don't want to dish away this guy. But if you have a pretty good uh, standing right now and you think you're going to make your playoffs, you may want to consider trading away Tom Brady. He has some really tough matchups during his weeks 14 through 15. Houston Texans come to town in week 14. San Francisco 49ers in week 15. Both of those squads have top 10 passing defenses. And the good thing about considering when you traded Tom Brady, you're going to get a lot of quality players in return. So you can really bolster your uh, roster in other areas. I know it may sound crazy, but when you look at his schedule, week 14 with the Texans, week 15 with the Niners, you may want to consider trading Tom Brady. I'm telling you, he's, he's not going to be that superstar that has led you this uh, thus far. It's interesting. I respect you for saying it, but as a Patriots fan and here in New England, it's hard to think about trading Brady. It's just hard. It, of course it is. But you know what? You can't have any kind of emotional ties at this point. Right. Fantasy football, it's about winning. You want that trophy. You want that cash. You want the bragging rights. Sometimes you got to make the tough yeah. moves. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. And to go to the running back to trade, I got this guy too. I got Brady on one of my teams. And I got Adrian Peterson too. And oh my goodness, he's the Adrian Peterson of old right now. He is. And I know Adrian Peterson running like a top three back. And again, same thing with Brady. If you can't make the playoffs... Without Peterson on your roster, then you can't trade him. But look who he's playing in the fantasy football playoffs. Chicago Bears in Week 14, uh, the St. Louis Rams in Week 15, and the Houston Texans in Week 16. Bears and the Texans, top five run defenses. The Chicago Bears only allowed two rushing touchdowns all season long. Houston Texans playing in Week 16, that's the fantasy football Super Bowl. They have yet to let up a rushing touchdown this year. You may want to consider trading Adrian Peterson Think about all the quality players you can get in return for him and then dish him now before that tough schedule comes. Wide receiver. Who's the one wide receiver you should think about trading and why? Uh, A.J. Green, another stud thus far in the regular season, but his production is going to slow down come fantasy football playoff time. Playing against the Dallas Cowboys in Week 14, Philadelphia Eagles in Week 15, and the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Fantasy Football Championship in Week 16. Dallas Cowboys only allowed five passing touchdowns to receivers this year. Uh, when the Bengals played the Pittsburgh Steelers, their opponent in Week 16, when they played them earlier in the season, A.J. Green only had one catch for eight yards, albeit that, touch, that catch was a touchdown. But you can't get away with just six points from your number one wide receiver in the fantasy football championship. He's a guy that you should trade now and help bolster your squad in other areas. You're watching FFChamps.com on Football Nation. I'm Butch Stearns of the Pulse Network. He's Billy Enright of FFChamps.com. We've talked about three players you might consider trading away if you really want to win your league. Tom Brady, AD, Tom Brady Adrian Peterson, and A.J. Green. Billy, now let's talk about three guys you might think about acquiring on the other end. Again, let's start with a quarterback. All right, I'm going to go with a rookie. And you're probably looking at me like, trust a rookie during the fantasy football uh, playoffs? Well, Andrew Luck is not your average rookie, all right? He's had uh, two touchdowns in three of his last four games. And boy, does he have a great schedule, not only during the fantasy football playoffs, but pretty much the remainder of the season. Let's look at his postseason schedule, playing the Titans in Week 14, the Chiefs in Week 16. Both of those squads have are one of the uh, bottom five when it comes to passing defense. I think Andrew Luck 
can be a quarterback that wins people a lot of their fantasy football championships. Yeah, well, go talk to your, go talk to your colleague, Kerry Byrne, called out football facts. He says Russell Wilson, by the numbers, is a better rookie quarterback than Andrew Luck. Kerry only cares about efficiency. We're looking at this from a fantasy football. Like. <laughs> Good point. Running back I need to trade for that in weeks 14 through 16 is going to be a stud that could possibly win me my championship. I think that guy is Willis McGahee of the Denver Broncos. We know how well Peyton Manning has been playing this year. And because he's passing so well, he's really opening up the running lanes for Willis McGahee. Check out the Broncos' opponents weeks 14 through 16. They play the Oakland Raiders in week 14, the Baltimore Ravens in week 15, and the Cleveland Browns in week 16. Raiders and Browns have one of the worst passing uh, rushing defenses in the league. And yes, even the once mighty Baltimore Ravens can be run on. I think Willis McGahee is going to be a top five running back during week 14, 15, and 16. His matchups are very, very juicy. I love this segment, Billy, because it is that time of year. And again, if you played fantasy for a while or if you're new to it, you need to be thinking ahead if you really want to win the league. I mean, it's fun every week, but if you want to win. So to that vein, give us the wide receiver that you would be going after? Uh, I really like Marquise Colson of the New Orleans Saints. No question about it. Other than Jimmy Graham, Colson is Drew Brees' favorite target. And boy, are their matchups during the fantasy playoffs really, really good. They played the New York Giants in Week 14 and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Week 16 for your fantasy football championships. All of a sudden, the Saints starting to come alive here as we get into really the meat of the NFL season. Hey, you never know. Weeks 14, 15, and 16, maybe they're trying to make a playoff run. Drew Brees certainly going to be passing the ball a lot. I think Colson can be a guy that helps you win your trophy. Great stuff, Billy. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. I'm Butch Stearns of the Pulse Network. He's Billy Enright of FFChamps.com. Check out all that you need to win your fantasy league. Yeah, it's that time of year. You're thinking about winning it. It's all at FFChamps.com. Mm -hmm.